This time on Kitchen Science, we find out how to make a volcano. Ah, uh, Dr. Otherford, I see you've decided to improve your breath. Excellent. I hope you're not predicting the 1949 eruption of Mount Etna. Well, if you want to pre-enact that, you'll need a bottle of carbonated drink. Approach and open the bottle of carbonated drink with caution. Then you'll need some breath mints. You'll also need a quick release mechanism for the breath mints. I see you're using the inner tube of a pen. Place the stringed mints above the neck of the bottle, brace yourself and drop them all in at once. Depart the area most hastily. Well, that was quite explosive. Carbon dioxide is already trapped in the liquid, but surface tension within the liquid keeps the gas from forming bubbles. A larger bubble can form on a surface, such as the bottle wall, and the force of surface tension is less per cubic inch of gas, and so it can escape once you open the lid. The rough mints already have bubbles of air trapped on their surface, but when they are introduced to the carbonated drink, these bubbles can expand rapidly and in abundance. This makes the volume of the liquid greatly increase, so it must escape through the only possible exit. Here it is again in slow motion. And this is what you'd find in a real eruption, where large amounts of gas are trapped in the magma. Thank you, Dr. Otherford.